What's up guys, this is Matt from Big Apple Airsoft here with the Double Eagle AK-47. Right now it's shooting around 330 to 360 FPS. So let's start with the back. We have a folding metal stock. Folds to there. Still comfortable. Good. Kind of good for CQB. Pulls back out. Uh, very comfortable. Sits on your shoulder. The good thing about this stock is it's also, you don't need a low profile face mask to be able to aim down the sights. You can just go like that and you can get down the sights even with the big bulky face mask. Now let's go to the rear sling mount which is right on the side of the gun attached to the folding part of the stock. It's good. Unfortunately you cannot move it to this side so it's only for the left. So moving to here we have the metal battery cover open up here and there's the battery the plastic receiver pistol grip is imitation wood as is the handguard up here still very comfortable though non-functioning charging handle it does reveal the hop up which is right there put a picture up on that later we have the generic AK fire selector right there only on the right side so it's safe full semi You have the adjustable AK sights. Push up, down. Good. We show them picture right now. Alright, we're back. Uh, so now to the handguard. Thick wood, very large, comfortable, curved. Metal barrel. So from here, it's metal. This part is plastic, just decoration, doesn't really serve a purpose. Now we have the sling mount here. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. That's metal. It does not, as far as I know, go to this side. So that's another thing that is not ambidextrous on this gun, not a very left to friendly gun. The front sight is plastic, it's your AK sight, regular AK sight. Orange tip is, it's, it's kind of hard to remove, but it's not impossible. And uh, now, now to the mag. It has an ambidextrous mag release. So that's one of the few ambidextrous things on this gun at least. Now for the mag. It's a metal high cap mag, it's a 450 cap mag, and it also comes with this tool. And this hole, right there, little white thing, another tool, goes in the hole. And that's another thing you can use to wind it. It's a lot more efficient than going like that. I was going like that, and it gets kind of annoying. So if you have this thing, if you have a vest, you can put it in a pocket. And yeah, that's it for the mag. All right, we're back. Okay. It's the gun. All right, now there's some final notes on this gun. For CQB, it's an alright gun because it's under the 350 FPS limit where we play. You can go around the corners. It's not that bad, but it's not a very good long range gun either because of the FPS, and it is a rather large gun. So it's only good for mid range. It's a good it's a good gun for people just getting into airsoft because it's on 80 bucks at airrattle.com. And for that price you get the battery, you get the clip, and you get pretty much everything you need. Now for the it's not it's not a very lefty friendly gun. I mean the charging handle is not that important, but it's still only on the right side, as is the uh, fire select. And the sling mount is not good for lefties either. This R2 sling mounts, so it's alright for either a bungee sling or a two point sling, not a three point sling. That won't work. Now onto the stock. With the stock, it's generally low, pro low profile, so you can pretty much aim down the sides fully with any, almost any uh, mask. So that's about it. This is Big Apple Airsoft with the Double Eagle AK 47. Rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you. Adios.